Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I am at a park called Hyatt Hidden Lakes uh, today. Uh, this is an interesting park and we'll talk about it more as we get the drone up in the air. I've got the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, I actually have a little confession to make. I actually flew here yesterday with the DJI Air 3. Uh, but I had a problem with my mic and uh, I didn't get the audio was corrupted I guess is what I'll say first time I've ever had an issue with the DJI mic system I was recording directly to the mic and just had a corrupted file for whatever reason uh, but in any case uh, this is fun a fun place to fly so I'm okay with uh, putting the little mini 3 up and trying it out and Yesterday with the Air 3, I took uh, several, some pictures and some panoramas. So I'll include those in this video too. I'll cut them in at some point. Uh, you'll be able to see it. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's uh, get the little Mini 3 Pro up in the air. Okay, we've got everything fired up and uh, the drone looks like it's ready to go. We've got 31 satellites. Let's click on the safety menu. And uh, we're in bypass, which is where we want to be. Uh, 35 meter return to home height, which is plenty. We're going to, we don't need any more than that where we're going to at, at, where we're at. And uh, compass normal, IMU is normal. Uh, so, we're, so we are good to go. We can look at the battery. Battery is good as I expected it would be. Uh, let's go ahead and do, uh, let's do an automated takeoff. Uh, on the app. So there's the little drone. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go straight up seven meters high and, and of course this drone I better start recording and we are in 4k 30 so we're going straight up seven meters high. And this drone does not make any pretense at uh, at uh, uh, precision landing, but you know we'll we'll see what it does. And I didn't put the landing pad down, and for some reason we went back to the main page. So let's click Go Fly again. That is an odd anomaly. I've seen that before. Let's flip this guy around. And we'll bring it down here so we can do our droney. I'm, uh, I'm going to stand under this tree here so I have a little bit of shade. Uh, but, uh, but we can kind of get in a good spot to do a droney here. So you can see where I'm standing there. And I'm going to be under that shade here in just a second. Uh, but in any case, uh, let's, uh, let's do our droney. Uh, I'm going to adjust the vector of the drone just a little bit. And I'm going to drop the camera down and reverse and up now, reverse and up. And there's a little drone and you can see where I'm standing in the parking lot. I'm gonna kinda get in the shade here a little bit as the drone uh, moves backwards. And yeah, we're about 42 meters high. So what you're seeing, I am going to uh, kinda move sideways here. What you're seeing is uh, what they call the Settler's Canal right here. So all of this used to be uh, agriculture, farmland, right? Uh, if you uh, look off into the distance and you see nothing but trees and houses, all of it used to be farms. And in fact, uh, I am gonna, I'm going to yaw around here and you're going to see the park. So this, uh, this is the park itself. It's called uh, Hyatt Hidden Lakes. And what this used to be was a gravel pit. And then the city uh, repurposed it to filter stormwater. So stormwater run, uh, they get stormwater runoff and it goes through a earth filtration system. You know, I don't pretend to understand it, rocks, etc., And goes from, from this pond then to a lower pond uh, before it gets uh, drained and I'm sure it goes then into the drainage system into the Boise River. Uh, but I think it's kind of an ingenious way to take care of uh, runoff, uh, stormwater runoff. And the reason that you have to be concerned about that 
is uh, because of pollutants in the runoff, right? I mean, we're, as, as we've urbanized these areas, you, there's a lot of pavement and stuff, so as water runs off, it gets contaminated with, with you know, a lot of petrochemicals and, uh, and uh, other things, fertilizer and other things. So they use this, uh, this little system to, uh, to, to clean that water up before it goes into the river. And what's kind of interesting about it is that it, uh, that it then doubles as a park. So I pointed you this way because I wanted you to see towards downtown Boise and the Boise front. You guys have seen that in my videos uh, many times before, but I just want to give you some kind of perspective of where we're at, of where we're at. And this is part of the city of Boise. So, uh, so give you a look at the park here. And again, I I flew this uh, I flew this yesterday and uh, had a problem with uh, with the audio. So, what the heck? Any excuse to fly? So I get to come out and fly it again today. So let's uh, let's go out to the corner here, and I'll give kind of give you a uh, a look at the park uh, from this corner. And you know what? I, I know that we're right on the cusp of, uh, of the new Mini 4 Pro, but I'll tell you what, this Mini 3 Pro is something else. This thing just flies. You know, if you... Let's get up higher here so we can kind of get a bigger picture. If you didn't know better, you, you just would think that you were in a, uh, in a much bigger... flying a much bigger drone. Uh, when they call it the Mini 3 Pro, it's the Mini 3 Pro for a reason. We're going to go up to just about max altitude here. Yeah, there's about 100 and 118 meters, so that's uh, that's pretty close. That's about 375 feet, something like that. Uh, let me. I'm going to back off here because I I really do want you guys to get the big picture of the park here. It's uh, you know, I'm going to say, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole park. I mean, I'm going to say, you know, that's bigger than, uh, I was going to say a city block. Maybe it is about a city block. I think they said the park is, gosh, I, don't quote me on this, but 50-some acres, I believe. Uh, but what you can see here is that uh, where you see that little uh, bridge down there, that's the entrance, and that's the parking area that I'm at and it's telling me I reached max altitude let's drop it down we don't need to be that high anymore and uh, and so you can see the trails so the trails go down and I'm gonna drop the camera as we go and and you can see uh, you have to drop down into the pit itself we're to the main part of the trail and uh, same thing over here so I'm going to get down. We're going to get down a lot lower here so you can see this. So when I, the first time I walked here, I was on this upper trail and I was trying to figure out how to get down below. And I walked down this little sliver of a trail you see right here. Well, that is way steeper than, than it looks. And uh, for an old man like me, uh, that is a little more than, uh, than I really needed to do. So uh, but if we go forward here, there's a much uh, easier part of the trail to get down. Uh, but uh, but let's get down here and show you the trail. So you know this they just they just built this gravel trail, and you're right on the edge of the uh, of the first pond here. And let's take a look at the pond. You know I think in the heat of the day, we're not seeing so many. But when I was here in the evening the other day, tons of wildlife. Uh, tons of waterfowl here and you know you can see all the uh, the cattails and, and rushes down here on the edge of the of the uh, of the pond that really make it a, a great place uh, gosh for all all manner of uh, waterfowl and birds lots of bird watching goes on here uh, and then uh, Little critters, right? I mean, you got, I'm sure, raccoons and, and uh, skunks, and, and I'm willing to bet there's uh, probably some, uh, uh, boy, a lot of noise here. I'm right next to a city street, so I, oh, I don't know if you guys are hearing all that street noise, but uh, 
Yeah. So anyway, I'm sure there's muskrats in these ponds. And so this is the lower pond right here. And I think this is the part right before it goes into uh, the storm drain and drains into the Boise River. Uh, but yeah, this here, let's take a look here. You can look at all the uh, all the cattails and man, that's that's duck heaven right there. If you're if you're a duck, that's where you want to be hiding out at. So yeah, pretty cool. And so that's another parking lot on the other side there. And we have to be cognizant of the fact that uh, that there are some power lines here. That's Maple Grove is the name of that street. If you know Boise. That's Maple Grove off in the distance there. And I see in this parking lot, looks like to me like it's a little bit bigger than the one on this side. I've never stopped at that parking lot. It looks like they have a restroom there as well. Uh, but then uh, there, there is a, uh, this grove of trees here. They have, uh, and I see some people walking there. In this grove of trees, uh, they put uh, a lot of, uh, uh, of different uh I'm just, just trying to think of the, the nesting areas for birds. In other words, they built bird houses, I guess. I couldn't think of the right word. They built bird houses. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting kind of a signal. So I'm going to grab some altitude here. It's saying that we're weak signal. So let's get up a little bit higher. And if I think about it, you know, I was probably dropping an altitude there quite a bit. So let's kind of we'll move around the other side of this grove of trees here and give you another look at it. And then there's something else over here I want to show you as well. When I was flying here yesterday with the, uh, with the Air 3, I was able to use the, the uh, three times zoom. And uh, anyway, you can see these uh, aspens and I think there's some poplar there as well. And uh, they, they've got some bird nesting boxes in there. So, bird houses, whatever you want to call them. And not only do they have bird houses, but let me see if I can find it for you here. They have, I think, this, this really cool, right here about center of frame. And let's see, I'm going to see if I can get down and maintain signal. But see that little device right there? And I'm going to actually, we're going to digital zoom in on that. And again, this is just cropping in on the sensor. So you look at that structure right there, and it looks vaguely like a bat, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what it is. It's a bat house, and they've got it set up where bats can roost in there. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, home for the bats as well. They thought of everything. Let's go back out to one by zoom. And I see some activity out here on the, on the pond. Uh, we're not going to get down too low. We don't want to bother any, uh, anybody or anything down there. But uh, let's grab some altitude. And uh, whoop, that was a quick yaw there. Sorry about that. But I just wanted to show you. So, so the trail, as you go climb up on... Uh, uh, Maple Grove here, and you see there's some power lines there, so we have to be uh, aware of that. But uh, but there's no trail that goes the perimeter of the park. Uh, there's this uh, there's just these trees, and it you know again it provides a lot of sanctuary for waterfowl, etc. Right in the middle of the city. So uh, I think that I think we're definitely uh, definitely lucky to have this pretty cool park. So yeah, there's a couple of islands out here. Uh, and again, you know, this was all kind of man-made. Uh, and I wish I could explain the filter system to you better. I, I don't know it that well, but I, but I did, uh, I did, t and what do we got going out here? Let me zoom in on that. Oh, that's just a tree, okay, I couldn't tell exactly what that was when I was looking from way out on the uh, on the FPV screen uh, but uh, anyway again uh, habitat for all kinds of 
amphibians and uh, I don't know you know what the one thing I don't know is if they plant fish in these ponds can't tell you but I can tell but over here in this corner is part of that filtration system uh, and and I know what they do is they they uh, they, they send the water uh, underground uh, and it goes through you know uh, uh, gravel and, and dirt, etc., and gets progressively clean. So that's part of that filtration system right there. And again, uh, and there's some folks walking on the trail right there. That right kind of in the center of the screen is that kind of street, steep trail I told you about. Uh, and then it ends up in this lower pond over here and, uh, and it is filtered again before it gets there. And, you know, where it ultimately then uh, goes down the storm drains uh, into the Boise River. But this trail right here is a lot more gradual trail. Uh, and I see there's some folks on there right now uh, that you can, you can walk from the upper side on down. So we're going to kind of stay away this, to this side of them and uh, come back uh, this way. And again, you know, you're looking at neighborhoods right here. This is, uh, this is right on the, uh, right on the, uh, uh, you know, in, in the middle of the, the, the residential area. Uh, you know, sometimes, I, you know, when I'm live narrating these things, sometimes it's easy to get tripped up, but uh, yeah, anyway. That's what I was saying. And then I, the other thing I noticed, and I'm kind of looking for them here. The other day I saw they had some uh, nesting stands for, uh, for birds. And I, what the heck? Is that, no, that's not one of them. They, let's see. I'm just going to see if I can find them. And I, I didn't see any. No, oh, there's one right there. Okay, let's get this guy right in the center of frame. And there's no, there's no nest on it. Uh, yeah, is that one of them? Yeah, I think it is. I saw some other ones here that looked more like the poles that you see that they set up for raptors. That almost looks to me like it's another birdhouse. So let me go back out to one by and see if I can find another one. I know there were a couple of them out here. Whoop. I did not mean to zoom in there. And you know, it was weird. I had my hand clear off of the button when it, off of the uh, scroll wheel when it did that. Yeah, so is this another one right here? Let's go right over the top of that guy. I knew, I, I thought they were right in here. No. Uh, that's not what I thought I saw. Well, regard it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, we can kind of get a look. Look at that. This is kind of giving us a pretty good look down into the pond. And see if we see any waterfowl here. Sun reflecting off the pond there. And we're about 45 meters high, so we are, we're way up there. I know it looks, uh, you know, when you're looking straight down, it's kind of hard to tell. So what we had something diving right there. Let's see if we can zoom in and see what we got, uh, what we got diving here. Or may, who knows, maybe that was fish jumping. I was thinking it was uh, Maybe some uh, some ducks diving down looking for something to eat. Oh yeah, look at this right off to the side here. Here we go. Here's some ducks cruising around there. And they're staying close to the close to the shore there, close to that island. Okie dokie. Uh, you know, I was going to show you some of the uh, pictures that I took with the Air 3, but, you know, we might as well, why don't, why don't we just use this drone to, uh, to take some pictures? Let me, uh, let me get in position here. I'm going to back out uh, 
over this neighborhood behind me so we can get a, a full shot of the uh, we're gonna grab some altitude at the same time so we can get a full shot of the park get a good view boy there is a lot of noise that noise that you just heard or probably are hearing that was a, a Ferrari that's uh, just going by there hard to miss this sound of a V12 Ferrari I'm gonna say he probably has an aftermarket exhaust too somebody really blowing their horn there as well who knows maybe somebody wanted to race that Ferrari oh there's there's uh, oh you know what that was a motor cop I'll, I'll bet you I'll bet you that motor cop was uh, uh, honking his horn at the Ferrari telling him to slow down I'm telling you that's what it was motorcycle cop going the other direction <laughs> uh, I wish I'd have had that on video uh, okay so uh, let's uh, let's just we're, I'm gonna stop recording right now and we are gonna go into camera mode photo mode photo mode and that gives us a little bit more of a wide angle and uh, and let's just take a uh, let's take a picture. I'm going to take a single picture, and then I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to switch to 48 megapixel, and see if I can see the difference. So you see you're seeing that previous picture right now. Now let's take a 48 megapixel picture, and I'll put that up on the screen. And you guys see if you can see any difference between the two. I suppose if you cropped in, maybe you would. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's. The other thing that I want to do while we're in this position is uh, get some panos. So clicking into panos there. And I, I again, I did this with the Air Three yesterday. But let's. Uh, in fact, I think this is gonna. This would look better if we get it at an angle. So I'm going to move over at an angle to the park. There, that looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, so that'll get us the uh, part of the Boise front as well. Let's do a 180 first. And the drone is starting to take pictures. What I like about the way uh, uh, what I was going to say there is what I like about the way DJI does it is that they it stitches all the pictures uh, together for you. I'm seeing uh, an error message on my Action Two camera. That's why I'm. It is telling me that the Action 2 camera stopped recording because of temperature. It was sitting out there in the direct sun, so I'm going to put it in the shade here. And we'll restart it when we come in for a landing. But let's, uh, in fact, I, yeah, that camera shut off, so that's good. Okay, let's go. Uh, and that's what distracted me there earlier. So let's go to wide angle. And let's take another picture here. Yeah, this, this should look pretty good with the Boise front out there and everything. Give you an idea of what this looks like. And it's stitching the picture together now. And we'll do a vertical just for the fun of it too. Although I don't know that that's going to look as good. Uh, but we'll, we'll give it a shot here. Yeah, that might be okay. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's go back into uh, video here. And in fact, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go into master shots. I am going to go over the park here. We're going to drop some altitude. Let's go over the park. And, and we'll set up the... Uh, We'll, we'll set like uh, that island in the center and I don't know what if this will 
look any good. We're down to 32% battery, so the drone may go into uh, return to home here. But, uh, but let's go ahead and give us a point of interest, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't want to do it. Let's see. Okay, so I did. I, I did the whole island. So let's hit start. Flight route will reach maximum lower, so it wants us to come down. So we're bringing it down, and we'll try again. We're down to thirty percent battery, so I don't know if we'll have enough. There's fifty meters. Let's try that. Yeah, that was enough. So, uh, you know, we'll just see, we'll just see how this comes out. Uh, I figured what the heck. Oh, and shoot, I forgot to change it to uh, 4K. This will just be in uh, 1080p. Uh, but it's doing a droney. And we're pretty close to the uh, home point. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll have enough battery to get through this. I think we, I think we will. A circle, yeah, this is going to look good. This is going to give you a good look, a, a kind of an interesting look at the park. And uh, and maybe I'll even see if I can uh, create one of their DJI music videos as well. Pitch up and fly forward, circle close. Uh, it's just phenomenal what these drones do. So when it says circle close, uh, well, I guess I'm looking at the distance change. So, yeah, it's moving around, but but the height isn't changing. So it's got to be uh, cropping in on the sensor when it's doing that. It's coming back out. Circling the other way. This, yeah, this is going to, this should turn out pretty good. So. We'll take a look. 25% battery. Boy, I'll tell you what, I didn't realize how noisy this street is next to me here, but that's just kind of the other part of the genius of this park uh, is that, uh, that it is right in the middle of the city and you know, you get a little bit of wilderness right in the middle of the city. Camera down, fly forward, 80%. And I think the last part of it, I think it picks up the camera. So it should be looking almost directly at the Boise front. Now camera down and circle. So I might be wrong here as to which way this guy is going to point the camera. Yeah, no, we're missing the Boise front. It's kind of painted, pointed uh, south, but camera straight and descend. But, you know, there again, city as far as you could see there. <laughs> and done, 100%. So... Uh, so there we go, uh, and it's returning to its uh, to its location. So uh, we'll let it do that, and then I'll start recording, and uh, and we'll fly out again. Okay, I've got the other camera uh, fired up, so we're going to go back into video mode here. Start video. Pick up the camera. Let's. Yeah, and it's wanting to go into return to home, so we're gonna just let it do it. I'm gonna fly it out here until it turns around. Yep, so it says, I'm coming home. So let's see how well it does. You can see my Tahoe there, I'm behind that tree. Well, I'm kind of in between a couple of trees there. Putting that camera straight down. And uh, yeah, we don't want it to land in the Settler's Canal. But it looks like it's gonna be pretty close. Look at that. Let's see as it gets closer here. And I'll watch to make sure there's no cars coming that'll run it over. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit off from where it took off, but uh, Evidently, it likes that spot. Picking up the camera.
and there's the little drone on the ground. Okay, uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, we had a nice flight with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Uh, what a fantastic piece of technology this little drone is. Uh, yeah, it's, it's on sale right now because I know we got the Mini 4 coming out here pretty quick. Uh, it may be already out by the time you see this video. Uh, but I'm telling you, this guy is uh, this guy is an amazing piece of technology. Anyway, you got to see uh, Hyatt Hidden Lakes Park here uh, in Boise. I just think it's remarkable the way they used, you know, it's an old gravel pit, and they turned it into something that's useful for uh, filtering stormwater and a great park for people to bird watch and look around. They don't allow uh, anything but service animals in the park. In other words, you can't walk your dog because they don't want them chasing the waterfowl, et cetera. Uh, but uh, it, it is a fun place to walk around because you see uh, a lot of different uh, wildlife and so forth. And uh, at the same time, like I said, it's filtering the groundwater before it ends up in the Boise River, the runoff, the storm runoff, I should say. Uh, so that's a good thing. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I just, you know, I haven't shown you this park before, so I thought you might like to see it. So anyway, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.